Tech workers in the U.S. are paid at least 46 percent more than tech workers in Canada. That's according to a new report highlighting the wage gap between both countries. Let's take a look a little deeper at that gap. We're joined by Vivian Lee. She's a senior economist at Deus at Toronto Metropolitan University and one of the authors behind this report. Vivian, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So uh, tell us about why you even thought to look at this wage gap. What inspired this work? So we know brain drain has been an issue going on within the tech sector in Canada for quite a while. Um, a lot of our homegrown tech talent through our institutions and universities are leaving Canada in favor of the United States, drawn in by higher wages. So that really compelled us to look into really how large this gap is and kind of understanding the core reasons why this happens. I mentioned that, you know, 46 percent. So 46 percent difference between uh, what U.S. Worker, tech workers are being paid in, and Canada? Yeah, 46 percent was what we found after crunching the numbers. Uh, we used a combination of Statistics Canada data uh, for the Canadian wages, and then we also looked at the Bureau of Labor Statistics and the U.S. Census Bureau for the American tech wages. Uh, and all things considered, we found 46% was the wage gap for uh, all types of workers. But when we look at just full-time and full-year workers, that gap shrinks about 10% um, to around $35,000 a year, which is still a pretty significant gap. Yeah, that, that, that seemed interesting to me as well, uh, that Canadian workers might be that much more different in how they're working. So they're not working necessarily full time, or not at least everyone is not working full time, full hours. There's more variety here. Yeah, it was found that uh, US tech workers uh, tend to work uh, full time, full year more often than Canadian tech workers do, which contributes a bit to the gap. And now, is this take-home pay that you're talking about here? Um, or, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think of what other sort of reasons could be leading to it. Is it that Canadian workers are maybe paying more tax or they're paying, you know, for health care and paying for a bunch of other things as well? Yeah, so this is uh, median uh, before tax income. Mm. And uh, we did look into uh, some of the other uh, contributing factors such as health care and non-wage compensation uh, to look at really the full magnitude of that gap. Uh, for example, non-wage compensation in terms of equity and stock options uh, was something that we looked into and we found that American tech workers were, uh, were given significantly more in terms of equity value uh, at twice the amount that Canadian tech workers receive. So they're getting paid more in cash and they're also getting paid more in, in potentially stock options as well. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so uh, with this research, what do you think the you know takeaways should be for whether it's uh, Canadian maybe policymakers or maybe just the, the tech companies themselves in this country? So this is a really really a call to action for the Canadian government to invest more into the tech sector, uh, to look at grants for R and D so that uh, small and medium sized uh, tech companies and uh, scale ups and startups can. Uh, really create more innovative products and to yield higher revenue um, and also look into uh, some incentives to bring some uh, foreign companies abroad to invest uh, their companies within Canada and build and scale here as well. It, it is interesting. I thought, um, you know, when you mentioned sort of don't take the deal that, that I'm paraphrasing probably incorrectly, but, you know, the uh, low wages, don't think of them as sort of getting a deal here in Canada. We should be raising the wages in order to be more competitive. Yeah. That sort of perspective. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We have some of the world's best in institutions uh, when it comes to STEM, computer science and engineering. Uh, we produce a lot of tech workers who are highly talented and highly sought after in the American tech market. So there's so much potential here. Uh, there's no reason why we can't have a tech market that is also as competitive as the United States. What kind of reaction have you gotten from uh, your, your research so far, Vivian? Um, a lot of uh, tech workers and tech employers uh, aren't really surprised by this finding. Uh, it's in line with a lot of kind of anecdotal uh, stories that have been told within the tech sector over the past decade or so, um, as well as uh, in line with some research that has been done before um, in this space.